Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're here again at CES with uh, Steve Perlman from OnLive, and this is um, OnLive Desktop. So go ahead and give us show us, uh, Steve. So OnLive Desktop um, is using the same technology we use for gaming, but we're giving you a full OnLive des uh, a few a full Windows desktop in the cloud. And what we've announced at CES is it's first available on iOS, but Android's coming very soon. And uh, what you're able to do here is run full uh, Windows applications, including, say, PowerPoint, and they start up instantly. And you get full pinch and zoom capabilities. So if I, for example, I, if I open a file here, and uh, let's see, I'll do uh, this one here. Um, here I am to go and, uh, you know, touch the screen and do pinch and zoom uh, and control this window. And it's very easy to go and edit things. And if I want to go and, you know, for example, edit text here, latest high-end titles for the game service, you know, I can go and touch that. And I can do, um, you know, actually write with my finger if I'd like. So let's see if it gets that. And it knows that I wrote hello, and I can put hmm. hello in there. Now, considering how bad my handwriting is, that's a, a true feat uh, of engineering. Or you can bring up a full desktop, uh, I'm sorry, a, f a full Windows keyboard that can either float or if you'd like, can dock to the bottom. If we do, I'm um, sorry, if I do, oh, dock to the side here. Uh, if I dock uh, at the bottom here, there it is. You see what it does is it actually pushes up the, the window um, instead of overlaying the window, which is kind of handy. And you have, you know, function keys and stuff like that, which are sometimes hard to find if you want to bring up the function keys for using Excel, for example. All right. So, and then if I want to do a full PowerPoint presentation, I can do that no problem. And it just, you know, steps through the various, uh, you know, the slides, etc. cetera. Uh, if I want to go and, you know, choose the, um, uh, you know, go back to the desktop, I can. So I have, again, the full capability that you normally have with a Windows desktop where I can drag and drop. But another cool thing that we have, and this comes with uh, uh, OnLive Desktop Pro, is browsing capability. Suppose you want to browse something, and certainly you have, unlike uh, I iOS, with Android, you do have a full flash browser capability, but it's still the case you're limited to the speed of the connection coming in. So if I go to speedtest.net, you notice that we're in Las Vegas right now, but you notice that it thinks that we're in California. Well, California is where our data center is located, and when it does a speed test, it's a four millisecond ping wow. and over 500 megabits a second. Now, in fact, it is more than 500 megabits a second. It's about 10 gigabits, but we're limited by the speed of the speed test servers. So you get that speed of browsing. I mean, obviously, Wi-Fi can't even go that fast. So <laughs> clearly, and, and you can see that if you go to a site like Mercedes-Benz here, um, it loads really, really fast. Uh, even though it's a very complex flash site, and again, we're mainly waiting is on the on the servers at the Mercedes-Benz site, and then you get again full capability uh, for whatever you want to do. If you want to, you know, well, if you want to go check out different cards, then you touch them and off they go. You can play videos, etc., and it just works just fine. Um, and you can even do things that are not available, like here, you know, a video runs instantly. You don't have to wait for it to download. Um, and so here, if I go to, for example, the Hard Rock Cafe, oops, I got the wrong button there, Hard Rock Cafe, this has Silverlight. So Silverlight's really not available with any of the browsers yet. Um, and, um, but this is kind of shows a, an interesting example of Silverlight where you can go and um, get the right thing there. Uh, where you can actually go pinch and zoom. This is a, a rock memorabilia site, and you can kind of zoom in and, and, and see some of the really fine details of of some of the rock memorabilia. You'll actually look right in at the strings of this guitar, which is kind of cool. Um, and of course, you know, you have this all with as fast a response time as is possible. You're not limited by the speed of the connection to this tablet, but rather you're, you're using the speed of our, of our browser. So the last thing I'll show you again is part of OnLive Desktop Pro, which will allow you to have very advanced applications. In this case, uh, we have Maya, so Maya is a about a six thousand dollar piece of software from Autodesk, and uh, it's used for developing you know three D characters. And here, if I use touch, I can kind of look closely at this character. I can zoom right in and see the pores in her skin. You notice her eyes follow you as you move, and um, then I can go and have her actually 
uh, say something. Um, well, I think I may have the audio. Yep, the audio well, was she down. Said something, no? <laughs> she did. The audio was. I never know where the. There's not a uniform place where they have volume control, so I always. There we are. All right. Let's see what she has to say. Leaving so soon. Come back when you can. There you are. <laughs> there, we got her winking. Okay. So, you know, again, it's a, you have the performance of, really, we usually use, a, you know, computers that are about $5,000 for, you know, for, uh, with very high, uh, lots of RAM, uh, very fast GPUs and so forth to run this application. And here it is running trivially on this nice HTC tablet. So, I think you could see we go all the way from, uh, uh, having very simple things like having an office app where you can actually see all the red lines or other or animations, things like that, to very sophisticated things like Maya and then, of course, accelerated web browsing. It's pretty cool. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Yeah.